first thing you should want to be on this side of the machine. That your leg latches. Just pull it. That one will be the same for me to pull it. So you can come back. Start the machine. You'll pull this up that way. Let your leg down. Just like the same. Pull it. Let your uh, leg down. Lever, huh? Yeah, that's your safety lock for your legs. Those in right here. You just let your legs down all the way. Safety pins out. So, yeah, you'll extend your boom, extend the elbow, let the claw out, and that's about where you want the bucket to sit flush. And if you can do this on a level ground, the more level the ground, the better to unhook and rehook it. So just take your main boom, put pressure on it to where your two safety pins is able to turn. Pull the little pin up. And as soon as you pull it out, Push it up, pull it out. That, your long pin, when you put it back on, has to be in your slot. Or else when it vibrates, the pin will just come out and fall off. Bottom, there's your hook. That's your beam that locks it in. Right now, it should be loose. Tractor's in neutral. At this point, you can kill your tractor. This will be your hydraulic lines right here. This is your power line, and that's your tank line. And you'll take your legs and just play with each one real slow. A little, little at a time. Yeah. You'll just keep on playing with it until the front tip hits the ground. Play with your hydraulicals. So all your pressure drops your line. Clip this in, pull out. That one the same, clip in, pull out. And then to get your front end loader to function again, you have to plug in your power beyond line back into your system. And at that point, when you start the machine back up, your loader will still work. You want to have your bucket up a little bit so you can push it. Yes. Push it up and out of the way. And then when you back it up again, you want to get it about this distance, neutral. So when you do start doing your hydraulics, you'll disconnect this again. Put your little cap back on here. That can lay there just for now. Take your tank. And that'll go one way only, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, your tank has a, a male end to a female, and your power beyond is a male to a female. Take your tank up. Does it matter where you run your lines? I see you ran one on the outside. Yeah, because this does not come off. Okay. It's part of the installation that stays. You can't have it on that side. Okay. So it's better to have it on this side to where if your tractor does move,
this does not break your cap off. Gotcha. Okay. And then we'll just start the machine back up again. You try to draw the legs again, a little bit at a time. Just make sure those pins is in the safety pad. And that's locked? Yeah. Yeah, if you don't let that all the way up, it won't lock. It will stay loose. So you want to go all the way. Yeah, it's got a little spring right here on the inside that will make it jump. Safety pin will go right here on the top. There you go. And your big pin will be right for there. Just mind yourself. This goes back. Yeah, it just lays like that. And that will just prevent when you go down the road for your bucket not to go nowhere. 